Bougeot again. Today I'm going to show you how to repair an issue on 94 to 97 Accords that causes the cruise control to fail. The first thing I inspect on these Accords is the cruise cable and linkage. And with a visual inspection I've already found the issue. The cruise cables popped out of the broken output linkage. This is a common issue on 90s Hondas due to the linkage being made of plastic. The main purpose of the output linkage is to maintain tension on the cruise control cable. If the tension is lost due to the linkage breaking, the cruise control won't function. If the linkage or cable isn't the issue for you, then I'd first check to make sure the vacuum and electrical connections to the cruise modulator are in good condition. Then get out a wiring diagram, check the cruise control fuse, and make sure power is reaching the cruise control module with the cruise switch on. Then check the brake light switch, which shuts down the cruise control when the brake is applied. If the switch contacts for cruise or the brake lights fail, it won't engage. Then I would check that the accelerate and decelerate buttons on the steering wheel are functioning and the wiring integrity is good to the cruise module through the clock spring. This can be checked quickly by back probing the accelerate and coast wires at the cruise module with a DMM. And finally, check the vacuum modulator that physically opens the throttle. Check the vacuum and vent solenoids on the module for proper operation and the modulator diaphragm for leaks with a vacuum pump. Let's begin. The first thing we're going to do to get access is remove the intake tube right here. And I have a little trick to make that a little quicker without having to go through the trouble of removing the intake snorkel and the top of the airbox. Just grab it and push it straight back. Now you'll see the cruise control cable is going directly over the intake tube here, so we're just going to pop it out of its clips and tuck it back. You'll see the two clips here and here. I'm just going to pop the cable out, and I'm going to just tuck it back behind the intake here so it stays out of our way. Be careful when you bend the cable back, there's a plastic snout where it bolts to the cruise control actuator. If you bend the cable too much at that point, you could snap the plastic. Now there's a few hoses and wires clamped to the intake tube itself, so let's pop them out. Pop out this vacuum line. Just pull that map sensor connector out, squeeze the tab. Pull that out. Just going to tuck this back and out of the way. You have this little fresh air connection here, just pull it out. Here's the throttle valve cable for the transmission. Pop that out of that clip. Over here you have the fresh air side of the PCV. Just grab the hose and just pull it out. Over here is an air resonator. Inside here is a vacuum actuated valve that activates over 29 100 RPM to quiet the intake noise down. And going to the actuator is this vacuum line. So it's clipped in. You just want to unclip it from the intake tube. One clip here, one clip there. Now you want to loosen the intake clamp and hold the intake tube to the intake manifold. You want to loosen this thing much as possible, otherwise the hose won't fully come off. No need to lose the screw, but just get it plenty loose. Now just grab the intake tube, pull it straight off. Now there's only one more thing holding the tube, and that's this flex hose, which hooks up to this resonator here. Loosen the hose clamp, Pull it straight off. Now you can take the tube out. As you can see here, this cable drum is broken. There's a big chunk of plastic missing out of it. And rather than attempt to repair it, which I could do, I'm just going to have to get another one. 
Now, this is not available separately from Honda. They actually want you to buy the whole throttle body assembly. Which is this entire aluminum assembly right here. You loosen four bolts and then pull this whole piece off. But the best way I found to handle this is go to a junkyard or go on eBay and just pick up a used throttle body assembly and just take this component off. And that's what I'm gonna do. Now the operation of the cruise is straightforward. Let me see if I can get this cable on here. At least a bit. This is your cruise cable. It's hooked up to an actuator. When you want to accelerate, the actuator tugs on this cable, which opens the throttle. When you want to decelerate, it releases it, and this linkage pulls the cable back and allows it to close again. All right, if you put the cable back in, you want to pop it out. Not that difficult since it's broken. Then loosen this 10 millimeter fastener. That cable goes to the throttle valve on the transmission. You don't have to remove the actual cable. This is just a bracket to hold it. Then just grab it, pull it down, and move it off to the side. Now you can remove the output linkage, as Honda calls it, from the throttle body. Now there are two Phillips screws holding it in place. One, two. They can be on there pretty tight, so you want the proper size screwdriver. I have a number two Phillips bit. Quite easily, the linkage assembly comes right out. Here's the new throttle body I ended up getting. Here's the linkage. When you look at it and compare it to the old one, you could clearly see what's broken. Just as straightforward as removing it from the vehicle, two Phillips screws. Here's another look at the two parts side by side. Then just pop the new one in.
pop the throttle valve cable back onto the bracket. Put it down here, then push it up. Snug it up, no need to over tighten. It's also important that the cable is in this channel here on the main throttle reel. All right, now we're just gonna reinsert the cruise control cable onto the output linkage. You'll see there's a cylindrical end on the cable. Cylindrical hole in the linkage and you'll notice there's a slit right here. So you want to insert the cylindrical portion in here and you want the cable to be pointing out towards this slit. So just twist linkage outward. That'll make it easier to get the cable in there. You're gonna have to bend it at an odd angle. That's just so it doesn't accidentally pop out. Just like that. Then just push it in all the way. Then the cable will twist like this, and you can gently release the linkage. Don't let it snap, because you don't want to break it. And that's it. Here's the repaired linkage in operation. Then just reinstall the air box. Now you want to guide the intake tube back into place. Just putting this vacuum line over here because it's going to clip over here. You want to clip this vacuum line into these two clips. Make sure that the hose is pointing upward, like this, before you attach it to the throttle body. Now you can pop the hose onto the throttle body. Maybe difficult to see, but you'll notice there are two teeth here, one there, one there, and that will slot up and line up with this point here. That way you have it aligned properly so it's not twisted one way or the other. So push it on all the way now, and those two tooth alignment marks are exactly where they're supposed to be. Now you can reinstall the flex hose to the resonator chamber. Clamp. And you can pop the back hose back into its clips. Pop in the fresh air side of the PCV system. Pop in this other fresh air line. Get this 
connector for the map sensor. I want to pop it in this clip over here. Hook it up. Pop it in the clip. Pop the vacuum line in this clip. Snug up the hose clamp securing the intake tube, throttle body. I'll pop the other end of the intake tube into the upper half of the air box. Make sure the two arrows line up. That means you have the alignment right. Reinstall the throttle valve cable to its clip. You want the metal piece to be above the clip. Now put the cruise control cable back onto its clips. You want the nut on the cable on the left side of the clip. So put the other side in. There's a third clip to put that vacuum line into. You have one here, two here, and the third one is right over here. There's also a fourth clip over here. Whoever removed the intake tube before me didn't reinstall it. So this is the routing of the line. There's clip one, clip two, clip three. Runs underneath the intake tube. And there's the final clip, clip four. Road test the vehicle and check the cruise control for proper operation. Be aware the cruise won't engage unless your speed is 25 miles per hour or higher.